Hello, I'm Eric Lanlard. I'm a master pâtissier, or should I say, a French master pâtissier. So I thought today, as is a season of entertaining, I'm going to share with you how to make the perfect vol -au with three delicious fillings. There's a chicken-based one with mushroom and a lovely creamy sauce, a seafood one, slightly more sophisticated, with saffron. And don't worry, if you are vegetarian, I got the perfect option for you as well. Butternut squash, roasted with raz à la nuque, so a lot of Middle East flavors to it, and some quinoa added to it. That recipe will make six individual volovans, or the perfect size for a starter. Or if you're having a cocktail party and you just want little nibbles, you can probably make up to 12 mini versions of it. When it's time for puff pastry, of course, you can make your own, which is absolutely perfect, but it does take time and it's quite a tricky part to make. I'm more than happy for myself or yourself to buy a shop-bought puff pastry. So let's crack on with the recipe. Roll it like so. So this is a perfect thickness, three millimeters. Time to cut our volovant. So you will need two cutters, one that size, and you need a smaller one for the middles. I'm gonna cut my plain disc. So I place them on my baking tray. So egg wash is basically just beaten eggs. And that will give your vol a lovely glossy finish, which will make them much more appetizing. Now ready for our second layer. So same cutter, and I'm just gonna cut. If you need to roll some more pastry, you have to remember you can't reuse the trimming because you will lose all those layers again. And now it's time to use our smaller cutter. So I'm just going to cut the center off of this little disc. Just going to remove this gently and place it on top of the disc. Here we are, my final one. They are now ready to go into the oven. Preheat it at 200 degrees Celsius. If you work on Fahrenheit, that's 392 degrees Fahrenheit. They should take between 15 to 20 minutes when they are all puffed up, when they look glossy and yummy and golden. Time to pull them out. Let's crack on with our filling. The first filling I'm gonna make is chicken and mushroom. I'm going to start in my warm pan here to melt 30 grams of unsalted butter. When the butter is almost melted, I'm going to add one chopped onion. I'm now adding three chicken breasts chopped into cubes. And I'm going to cook them for around six minutes till they are cooked right through. Next, 70 grams of chopped mushrooms. And just for extra flavor, some fresh thyme. And finally, a glass of white wine. So now I'm just going to reduce the heat, keep it on a low heat, and I'm gonna cook it very gently for 10 to 12 minutes till the sauce have completely reduced, then the mushroom are perfectly cooked. And after that, I will be making the traditional bechamel sauce. I'm going to melt 60 grams of unsalted butter. When the butter is melted, I'm going to add 40 grams of plain flour. So I got the flour and the butter together into my pan now, and I'm just gonna cook them together till I get a nice thick paste. Now I'm going to add 480 ml of whole milk, a little bit at a time. And for a boost of chicken flavor, I'm gonna crumble into my sauce half a cube of chicken stock. Now the rest of the milk can go inside. And here we are, this is ready. This is your classic bechamel sauce. You can see it's glossy, it's smooth, not a lump inside. Only one thing to do now is to gently fold my chicken and all the sauces into the bechamel sauce. Just for a touch of color and taste as well, I got some chopped parsley here. So this is ready to go, it's looking fantastic, but let's get on now for recipe number two for the seafood mixture. So in my pan here, which is nice and warm, I'm just gonna melt 25 grams of unsalted butter. I'm just gonna add to that two cloves of crushed garlic and eight chopped mushrooms. I'm just gonna coat all this lovely soft mushroom and garlic with a tablespoon of flour. I've got 225 ml of fish stock, 110 ml of single cream, and I'm going to add to that a little secret ingredient, typical to the south of France, half a glass of perno. That's gonna bring a lovely aniseed flavor to our final sauce. So two more ingredients. For a little bit of crunch, I've got one leek that have been finely chopped. 
and one of my favorite spices, a good pinch of saffron. So it's time to add the star of the show, the seafood. Well, I decided to go for some large prawn. I got some cod, got some salmon, and just for a smoky flavor, I got some smoked haddock as well. I'm just going to add 450 grams of the seafood mixture to the sauce. And I'm just gonna leave them to cook slowly for six to eight minutes and on a gentle heat. I'm just gonna add one tablespoon of chopped parsley just to bring a bit of freshness to this rich mixture. Well, I have to say the seafood mixture is smelling absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so let's go for filling number three, that's the vegetarian option. So first of all, I've chopped up 320 grams of butternut squash into big chunks. And I'm just gonna roast it with a good splash of olive oil. Sea salt. I got some cumin seed here. So I'm just gonna get a good sprinkle. So this is ready to go in my oven to roast for roughly 15 to 20 minutes. Just check it out with a knife. We want them soft, but on the same time, we want a little bit of bite because we want some texture into our volovan when everything is put together. The oven temperature should be 200 Celsius. I'm just gonna melt 25 grams of unsalted butter. I'm just gonna add 250 grams of cooked and drained quinoa and lentils to the melted butter. And now I'm gonna cut my butternut squash into pieces. To combine all the ingredients together, I added 500 grams of Greek yogurt. But just to boost that Middle Eastern theme, I got one of my favorite spices from the Middle East, two tablespoons of Raz Alanouk, which is a mixture of paprika, cumin, cinnamon, and rose petal. And finally, for a touch of color and flavor, I've got some uh, fresh um, Greek basil here using scissors. I'm just gonna chop it. Well, time to plate our volovan. And I just warm them up a little bit more in a hot oven for 10 minutes, so they're nice and hot. But first of all, we need to trim the lid. So you need a very sharp knife. You just use your knife and gently cut the little lid with in the middle there. So just very carefully lift off this little lid. Keep it aside. Time to fill our little beauties. With the chicken one, the chicken is so succulent and the freshness from the parsley coming through, it just works so well together. The seafood, for me this one is my favorite, I love the saffron, really giving that kind of like saffron tasting. And if you're a vegetarian, don't despair, we've got this special vegetarian filling here, made with roasted butternut squash with cumin and some serious Middle East vavavoom. All these lovely hot spices coming through, making it so Moorish. And here we are, this is the ultimate savory and glamorous baking. Delicious. Thanks Foodtube for having me on your channel and sharing this delicious recipe with your viewers. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my own channel if you love baking. Every Monday, it's a Baking Mad Monday.